Hey, it's your guy Tyrell back with the interviews. In today's video, we're going to go back to the 0304 season and briefly analyze how Thierry Henry played a key role in Arsenal's 5 1 win at the San Siro. So, in today's video, first we're going to focus on Inter's defensive shape, then we'll shift to Arsenal's structure, and lastly, we'll focus on how Henry impacted the game in the final third. So, when we break it all down and we do look at the board, we have Arsenal in a 4 4 2 and Inter playing in a 3 4 2 1, and with the wing backs pushing forward to provide the width, and then two support supporting attacking players just in behind Vieri. Out of possession, they would drop off into a 5-4-1 and they were looking to compress the space in that midfield zone. Whereas out in the wider areas, they had the wing backs to deal with Arsenal's rampaging fullbacks. And then if Henri or Canu looked to sprint in towards those wider areas in the channel, they could have 1v2 in that zone as well. So as you could see, Inter would drop off into a 5-4-1 to keep it compact in that central area, have the 3v2 against the Arsenal forwards, and then in sure that if Kanu or Henri look to break in towards those wider areas, they could potentially have a 1v2. There were scenarios where Henri was simply breaking down the left or the right channel, and when he did receive the ball in that zone, if it was a 1v2, he struggled to have an impact for large spells of that opening period. And it was clear that specifically down that left-hand side, Henri would prefer to run at one of the center backs, opposed to Javier Zanetti, and then getting by the other center back. Because when you look at how Arsenal looked to attack in terms of their structure, it was Kanu or Henri dropping off deeper to check into the ball and then you'd have one of the attacking players drifting off in towards the channels or looking to break in behind to receive a pass from their strike partner or from one of the midfielders that received the ball that was dropped off in towards their feet. In most cases, you would see Edu and Parler just ahead of the center backs, and they would provide protection out in towards the channels or just ahead of those two center back defenders. Whereas you would see Toure and Ashley Cole looking to push forward into the space that the wide players were giving them. The wide players were tucking in towards central areas, and from there, Arsenal were creating a 4v2 overload in that zone. They could combine with the that's dropping off deeper, but they were also creating space for the fullbacks to push forward. Toure on the right-hand side didn't have much of an attacking impact, but he was stretching the pitch. Whereas on the left-hand side, Ashley Cole's underlapping run did play a pivotal role in Arsenal's opener. In the build-up to Arsenal's opener, it's Cole squaring the ball across the net for Pires, and when Pires receives the ball, you have Henri looking to check towards it ahead of the centre-backs. Ashley Cole continues his run across the and Pires slides the ball into the path of Henri, and focus on Cole being goal side of Zanetti. Henri identifies that and initially plays a first time ball into the path of Cole and from there he's unable to control it but he lays it off into the path of Henri who fires a first time effort beyond the keeper. Essentially what you were seeing from the Arsenal wide players was that they were drifting in towards that space between the lines and they were essentially creating a box in that midfield zone where they could pick up the ball from deep or look to pick up the ball in advanced areas. If they picked up the ball from deeper positions they had the ability to dribble past past defenders to taking them out of the game or opposing midfielders, and then look to play incisive passes in towards the final third. So essentially from those deeper positions, they could pick up the ball, drag a marker towards them, dribble beyond them, and then look to serve as a creator to play the ball in towards the wider areas, combine with the attacking players, or simply look to play in one of the runs of Kanu or Henri breaking in behind. On the other hand, if they weren't impacting the game with their creativity or their ability to dribble beyond on defenders. It was their willingness to make late runs from those central areas that weren't picked up in towards the penalty area to serve either as decoys to create space for other teammates or for Henri to get shots off on goal, or they would serve as options for Henri to pick out when he would break in transition out in those wider areas or when he would drop off deeper to get on the ball. In the build up to Henri's second goal, he breaks free down the left channel and gets held up in a 1v1. And from here, here he has a runner breaking free in towards the penalty area, but rather than playing the ball into Pires, he now creates a 1v2, and what he ends up doing is that he carries the ball towards the byline by using a quick shift of pace. He bypasses the center back, and from this tight angle, he fires a low effort beyond the keeper. Because when you focus on Henri's impact in the final third, it was very simple. It was Kanu dropping off deeper to search for the ball and hold up play and link play with his teammates, and Henri was drifting out in towards the wider areas to get an 
into 1v1s, break in behind from those positions, or simply make runs off the center backs in behind to get into 1v1 scenarios with the goalkeeper. So whether it be from open play or in transition, Kanu was being utilized as an outlet to get the ball into. And then Henri's goal threat was being maximized as he was able to break into space to get the ball from either the midfielders or Kanu himself to break into 1v1s or free on goal against the goalkeeper. Whereas if Kanu wasn't doing that job for him, Henri could simply drift in towards the channels or drop off deeper into central areas to receive the ball between the lines. And from there, he would pick out the runs of the wide players that were tucked in towards central areas and breaking free towards the six yard box to get into legitimate goal scoring positions. And put simply, it was a combination of those deep runs and Henri's ability to pick out his markers or simply use those runs as decoys to get himself into positions where Arsenal were able to run away with the game. If you look to the manner in which Henri created Edu's goal, he breaks free in the right channel in transition. And from here, you see the two wide players making deep midfield runs towards the penalty area. And he slides the ball across his marker. And while Pires doesn't get it, Lundberg's run in towards the box also drags away another inter defender. And Toldo doesn't get onto the ball either. And, and that also results in Edu making a late run towards the penalty area. And that allows him to fire a tame effort into the open net. So as you can see, this result was largely attributed to Thierry Henry's ability to impact the game in vacant space down the channels, along with his influence in deeper central areas to create and finish chances in the final third.